Okay everyone, just a short video here. The top mount is finally off. I'm in my, uh, I'm in my brother's uh, basement right now, over at his workbench. And yes, we finally got the thing off. And here it is. So, as you can see here, there is a cut um, in, in the nut there, and the pipe itself. So, so, so here's what I did initially. Let me put this on the floor here. Okay. So what I did was, as you know, I, um, let's see, it was on the top here, okay? So basically, what I did here was, it was kind of positioned like this when it was still in there, and I was using a hacksaw to uh, to make a cut in the nut, and also this mount, because I'm not, I'm not going to reuse this mount, I'm, I'm going to get a new one. So I was cutting through the nut and the mount, which was a good alternative, um, after my video, of course. And that worked well for about halfway down, because with a standard hacksaw, um, the front of the hacksaw kept hitting the other side of the nut, which was over here, you know, which would be this end, all right? And, you know, there's just not enough clearance to make the saw go any farther um, through so the blade gets on there as well. So I can only bring the saw about halfway down on this mark here before the saw would, ha would start hitting the compartment here because I have to angle the saw down. So I was like, great, that's not going to work either. So then, what I decided to do was, uh, I was like, okay, I, I know my brother's got a lot of tools too, maybe he can give me some help. And then, sure enough, he did. So, so what I did was, um, we, we brought the light here today, and I told him what I was trying to do. And here's the tools that we used. See, this is a good kind of hacksaw right here, because as you can see, there's no front part past the blade here, you know what I'm saying? So this allowed me to go all the way through, basically, and all the way down, so I was able to, um, now of course now I can't get it out, <laughs> there we go. I was able to cut the uh, nut and the uh, mount all the way through, and then after I did that, he used um, this chisel source right here, and this hammer. And he was putting this between the light compartment and the nut to try to break it open a little bit more. And it was working great, and that really helped fantastic because... Um, if you notice, uh, it's on the other side here, um, the, uh, the compartment is toothed here, as you can see, and so is this fitting right here on the pipe. That's for when, like, you know, when the light's on either a, a span pole or a mast arm, um, it prevents the light from turning in, like, heavy wind conditions and things like that. So, the other option that I know Jay had told me was to try holding this nut in place and hit the pipe, but that wasn't an option because of the way this was toothed on. And then once we finally broke this nut a little bit looser because of hitting it underneath and breaking this a little bit more, that was actually just enough for these teeth to clear each other. And then that's when we st that's when I held onto the light compartment and my brother started hitting on the pipe itself with the hammer to loosen it. And then the, ha and then the, the, the pipe started turning and then once the uh, pipe was turning, I was able to loosen this nut by hand and I'll show you right now. Look at that, it comes right off. Almost done. <laughs> See? Then the nut came off, and the mount finally came off as well. So really happy about that. Here's that cut job that I did, you can see right there. So I figured that's what I was going to have to do when I used, again, I used I used uh, WD-40, 301 oil, silicone spray off camera, and something else. And that just didn't do it. So it's, you know what, we're going to have to cut this or break this, do whatever. So it's, so we did that, hit it with this, with this, the chisel here and the hammer, and then made this looser. Pipe spun, this spun right off, mount is off. Very happy about that. All right, so there you guys go. So uh, just short traffic light update there. Finally got finally got the mount off. Very happy about that. Now I can start thinking about um, thinking about what I'm going to do um, for a paintwork. So what we're probably going to do is we're, we're probably going to like um, either do sandblasting or things like that. Because initially I was thinking maybe I would just clean the interior here, but I wasn't sure if I was going to repaint it because you know I get all this corrosion off and sand all inside here but the problem was because you know th th this compartment in particular got so hot from the light granted it was outside i felt if i just put paint in, in the on the inside it's just going to wear off as well like it did before but my brother said there's like some i don't know how much it costs but there's some like you know high uh, what's it called high heat paint or something that's designed to handle very high temperature conditions so maybe that would be just enough to withhold uh, rather withstand um, the heat of the bulbs, you know, that's just my guess. I mean, I want to ask you guys, do you think I can get away with, um, 
with um, just cleaning out and sanding the inside and leaving the inside unpainted? Or do you feel that's incomplete and I should paint the inside as well? So I mean, l l l l l let me know about that. L let me see what you guys think and I'll, I'll go along with, with what your suggestions are. But the outsides are going to be painted and everything with new yellow and all that stuff. So that's just my only concern. Should I definitely repaint the insides after cleaning out or should I just leave them cleaned out? You know, I'd like to know what you think about that. So if you think I should repaint it, and my, my, just for the record, my brother says I should repaint it too. And I'll repaint it if you guys agree, alright? So there you guys go. Uh, mount is finally off. Uh, and uh, compartments by itself finally and then we can start doing further work when time permits. Thank you very much for watching and take care.